Hey, Capture One 16.7 was officially released last week, and I've been testing the beta version extensively all October, and I think this is the most transformational update of Capture One yet, as the new layer features offer absolutely amazing new opportunities. Today, I want to share three practical use cases showing how Capture One 16.7 changes real-life editing. You will learn how you can easily relight only the main subject on your image, like this. You will also see how to quickly change the color of clothes, for instance, this one and how to adjust only the target eye on your image, like on this picture. But first, a quick announcement. I have just released a new set of styles designed specifically for street and travel photography. And you can download five styles from this set for free. This set offers a brand new approach to working with styles in Capture One, where you can control image tone and color grading separately. First, apply one of the 12 image tone styles to adjust the basic contrast of your image. Then, scroll through the 12 color grading styles to find the look that works best with your shot, for instance, this one. Yeah, perfect. There are 144 combinations in total, allowing you to find the right mix for any image. For instance, let's take this street portrait, and I'm going to use this hard sun tone style and this color grading style. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting mix. Or for this night seascape, I'm going to use this style for image tone and this one for color grading. Again, let's compare. Yeah, so this way you can easily find the right look for basically any of your street or travel images. And these styles work with classic Capture One tools, such as Color Editor, Color Balance, and Curves. Thus, they can be used with any version of Capture One. So, feel free to download five sample styles at alexander.com street and try them out on your street and travel shots. Okay, now back to Capture One 16.7 features. The new Capture One allows you to combine masks in three ways. Adding, subtracting, and intersecting. And the latter, intersecting, open up a whole bunch of new editing tricks. For example, you can relight just the subject in the image. Let's see how it works in practice. First, I'm going to create the subject mask, and this is something that was also available in the old versions of Capture One, but if we just darken the whole subject, it will look unnatural, like this. In Capture One 16.7, you can apply a radial gradient inside this subject mask, like this, but I'm I'm going to redraw the gradient, yeah, something like this. So I would like to have my adjustments applied gradually, like this. Let's see how it works in practice. Yeah, so basically, you can now easily relight your subject. And best of all, you can easily copy these adjustments and apply them to other images and Capture One will recreate both the subject mask uniquely for this particular image and a radial gradient inside this subject mask. And it works 
also with background masks as well. So let's create a background mask here. And I'm going to combine it with radial gradient as well. But this time I'm going to draw the mask inside. And let's see. Yeah, so this way you can, for instance, make this area behind your subject a bit darker, focusing the viewer's attention on your main subjects. Absolutely amazing new features. Another new feature of Capture One 16.7 is the ability to mask close, and you can combine this with the classic Capture One tricks such as complete color change using Skin Tone Color Editor. Let's create a close mask on your image. Then I'm going to select the full color wheel in the skin tone color editor and I'm going to set uniformity to 100 and now I can move the point on the color wheel to choose the target color. So for instance for instance, this one looks really nice. I'm going to lower saturation just a bit. Yeah, perfect. So in a matter of seconds, we have completely changed the color of clothes. And you can also apply this color change using a gradient. So let's create clothes mask like this. And now I'm going to change the color the same way. So let's select the full color wheel, set uniformity to 100, and I'm going to pick some color. Let's increase saturation just to make it more visible. And now I can combine this with a radial gradient mask like this. So let's see. Yeah, as you can see, I can change color using a gradient. Fantastic. Finally, you can now easily enhance just one eye on your image. For example, here, you don't need to adjust both eyes, otherwise the right eye will look unnatural. However, the left eye would really benefit from the enhancement. In Capture One 16.7, you can decide which eye or both of them to adjust. So here I'm going to adjust only the left eye. And as you can see, it looks really nice on this image now. So let me know how you like the new update and don't forget to download five free styles at alexander.com street.